If it's good enough for Aussies, then why not Samoans? That's the question New Zealand Apple and Pears wants us to keep asking central government. At a briefing to Hastings District Council yesterday, the industry body highlighted the inconsistency of allowing Australian tourists into New Zealand when there are community cases of COVID in Australia, while limiting the arrival of much needed Pacific Island workers. Those workers are then required to quarantine in hotels where people have COVID. Samoa, for example, is COVID free, never had a case. And we bring them into the one place in New Zealand where we know there's COVID. And we stick them in an MIQ and then we send them out to our industries. And I can assure you, because if we found a case of COVID in one of our supply chains, the Chinese government has insisted on the immediate shutdown of that supply chain from that company and a full product recall. So with that risk, boards of our, some of, a lot of our players, when we looked at this and went, I'm not trusting MIQ, I'm going to re-isolate staff out of MIQ when they get to Hawke's Bay to make sure that I don't destroy my business. So, so you're sitting there going, well, you know, why, why doesn't, if we can get Australians in without MIQ, why can't we get the Pacific in without MIQ? I just don't know. No, no one's been able to answer it yet. I just want people to ask the question. COVID-19 Response Minister Chris Hipkins said New Zealand would look at quarantine-free travel arrangements with other COVID-free countries when it was safe to do so. He said recent COVID cases in Australia showed the risks of international travel. Spaces would be available in managed isolation for RSE workers so businesses could plan for the coming season. Jones says New Zealand Apple and Pears wants extra measures of safety to protect vulnerable communities. And I think that, that maybe where things may go is that we'll just end up with a, a quite a large group of um, Pacific Island workers stuck here until we vaccinate. Mm -hmm. so, so we're certainly working with the DHB here mm -hmm. to vaccinate RSC workers before they leave, and we're certainly working with government and NFAT around how we might vaccinate workers before they arrive, and also how we vaccinate our broader employees within our supply chain and their households, of which we uh, represent all the at-risk parts of the community. It's too early to say how badly compromised the apple harvest was this season due to the shortage of RSC workers, but reports suggest good weather and good fruit colour have combined to supply a market with good prices, helping safeguard the many permanent jobs reliant on a successful harvest. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.